Three, uh, three, two, one. Wait. Mad and cold. <laughs> Dang it. Mad, Mad and cold and doing nightfall. Hey guys, um, my name is CM White, fourteen, and I am with my good buddy here, Spider Matt twenty three. Spider Matt twenty three. What's up, man? Um, so what up, our dog? guest today is the one and only Taps seventeen. What's up, Taps? What's up, guys? How are you? We are excited that you are here today. So just tell us a little bit about yourself. What do we need to know about TAPS? What do you, normal personal life stuff, what do you do for a job? Where do you live? How long you been playing Destiny? Things like that. All right, um, well, I am currently 26 uh, with a birthday in August, so that'll be coming up rather quickly. Um, right now, I am currently residing in the mighty metropolis of Enterprise, Alabama. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. I am stationed at Fort Sweet yeah, Home. Alabama. I am stationed at Fort Rucker right now. Um, and uh, as a job, I am a captain in the army, and I'm a Black Hawk pilot. Very nice. Um, cool. So yeah, that's that's the old that's the personal stuff. Um, I guess I got to give a shout out to Kate, uh, girlfriend of over two years. You know, she's back in New Jersey, but got to give a quick shout out to her. Um, Hi, Kate. And then, we, we yeah. like you. We like you. Um, and I guess uh, the last thing, I started playing Destiny uh, right at launch. I was still in Texas at that time. And God honestly, bless, just Texas. thought it was, yeah, no, not really. Um, mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> I just really thought it was going to be just kind of like a fun single player game. And I honestly did not think it would evolve into everything that it is now for all of yeah, us. So. so. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really been an exciting, a lot of fun to play. Um, so I'm noticing here that you are running a hunter. Yeah, hunter main? master race. Is that your main? Yes, it is. You bet. Okay, tell, tell us why. Why is hunter master race? For well, you. I'm just, well, For first you. off, like, honestly, when I first picked up the game, it was between Titan and Hunter, because I kind of looked at the Warlock, and I was like, I want to look cool while I'm playing this game, and... The and they have the dumbest helmets. Not, they just do not look cool. I don't want to run around playing a game where I'm wearing robes. So I wasn't a huge fan of the Warlock to begin with, <laughs> to be honest with you. And then, uh, honestly, just from watching kind of some of the ads, I'm like, I just really want like a really nice um, long cloak. I think it looks really, really, really cool. So I just kind of went with the Hunter. And, you know, I've loved every minute of it, even through the thick and the thin of all the nerfs and being killed by Titan and Warlock grenades. Not a fan. So, Carl, um, just in the last six months, really, we have started a new clan. And you have taken on our, the role as our fearless leader. Um, so tell yes. me, yeah, so I want to talk about that a little bit. Just like, what, like, what made you want to take on that role? What excites you about it? What do you look forward to? Um, just tell us a little bit about the clan and why you're excited about it. Yeah. So I, it all really started with back um, back when Destiny first introduced its first raid. And I mean, I just a little another small little anecdote about me. I never played games like these. I was strictly sports games. So this was kind of my first dive into this, you know, MMO RPG first person shooter game. Um, so just starting with that and realizing that it was like, hey, we need six friends to go do this. You can't just do it on your own. There's no way for you to beat the game right. unless you have friends. You know, so that kind of started it. You know, I found a few people around uh, Texas, you know, a few people at work that played. And then, you know, I found out Matt played from going to church a little bit. Um, I know I think he mentioned you played, but you were on that X brick at the time, which was kind of a bummer. Yeah. Um, so that that's kind of just how it started, and uh, I found out a huge group of my friends in New Jersey played, you know, because that's my hometown, so when they found out, you know, we played, we all started playing together, and then the idea was, you know, let's just all, you know, get into a group, you know, I'm new to the whole clan thing, so uh, a shout out to Ballins Bane, he was the first one that was like, you know, hey, we should get a clan going together. You know, and he created one. I think we were all a member. I, Colton, I don't think you were, but I know me and Matt Honor were that members thunder. of. 
yeah. honor the thunder and that was that was a lot of fun but uh you know we started throwing around the idea of just kind of hey you know let's start a clan it's kind of annoying to not you know be the leaders of a clan when we're the only six people that play right now so yeah. we brainstormed a name um i get way too many assists in the crucible so <laughs> and that's i love puns where, <laughs> that, yeah yeah and matt loves puns and that's just kind of where the unsung heroes were born you know, it started out with the six of us you know us three and then craig schmitty and kevin the only people that yeah. still play destiny a lot you know and it just it honestly just grew from there and then you know just again the friends the the whole group of j-rock's life and all them you know I, I had been playing you know sports games and i'd gone to church with them for years so obviously they wanted in and they're a good group of players that are always pretty much on and it just it just kind of sparked from there and i really think people just enjoy what we do and always having a group on and right. you know in the in the past month just being able to grow as much as we have just with different people you know it's more of yeah, one thing that i really do love saying is that it's not just you know people think of a clan as just oh it's some stupid video game thing but it's it's i want to kind of wreck that notion it's more of like a community to us because we get on and we're playing with our best friends Right. You know, oh yeah, goofing off, having a good time, laughing, making the stupidest jokes we possibly can. So, um, and that's that's kind of <clears throat> that's where I see us right now. You know, with the with us growing a little bit more. You know, we've had to just instant. We've we've just recently instituted like you know jobs and you know we've got a really active Facebook page, a really active chat. So I mean it's. It seems to be growing really well, and I think we can really carry it over into D2. It's kind of crazy just how it's kind of grown from us six. And it seemed like when Age of Triumph jumped, or, or dropped, um, it's like that's whenever we started really growing as all of the old players started coming back. And then we met yeah. people in Crucible. You know, mm -hmm. like random people who rush into your bubble and get pissed off at you and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you guys will, you guys will probably, all the viewers will probably meet Rush later. But you know, that's yeah. a funny story to ask Rush how he actually got into the Unsung Heroes because for real, so. it was a hundred percent hate mail that started that. Yeah, <laughs> and it just evolved from there. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my God, he's here. Watch yeah, out. he's alive. Oh. I just, I just Ooh. shot him for quad sevens. I've never <laughs> seen that number pop up before. Oh my gosh, I um, You gonna teleport on me? I know it. Yep, he teleported on me. I hate that! Of course he did. Um, so Carl, I know this is gonna be hard while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Destiny 2 coming. Um, yeah. So, what are you most excited about? I mean, just playing off the last question, man. Everything that they're going to be doing for clans is just—I'm—I'm I'm really excited. Guided about games that. is so awesome. Guided games is going to be great, and that's—you know—that kind of caused me to just—you know—rethink with whoa. I pushed out of the bubble. Um, rethink with, you know, what we want to put, what we want people to see, what we want people to know, so that they'll play with us and you know, hopefully stay, and we can just continue to grow this pretty sick community we've already started so yeah yeah, yeah so oh God, I'm about to die. Oh, oh, we no. all oh he died <laughs> he did. oh we he all the first one. Oh no <laughs> there goes flawless i'm always the first one <laughs> flawless, flawless striker <laughs> i was looking so, at Carl, my phone. we all have had moments in <laughs> destiny where we've just screwed the pooch royally and we can laugh about it now what is your most memorable moment in destiny activity where yeah. you like totally messed up and it, like screwed the pooch and now you can laugh about it. There's like most embarrassing thing at the moment. Yeah, the honestly the good part about my moment is that there's only one person in our clan right now that actually remembers it. Which is good. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, if you know me, I'm a huge raider. I was never really into PvP so obviously my lovely story is going to come from a raid. Um, very first raid I did, and just a, a little bit of a backstory to just make it even better. Um, I was the seventh person in this raid. They had too many people, and I was there. I was the insurance. You know, hey, 
You know, the the guy I was the guy I was running with, he was one of the guys from work, and he was he had played WoW his entire life, so he was really good at organizing the raids. So he always had like a person oh. or two in reserve. So I was in reserve, and I was level 28. Because if you remember back then, you couldn't get to 30 without running the vault of glass. You couldn't even mm -hmm. get to 29 without running the vault of glass. Oh! Oh, guys! Oh. Okay. That's okay. Clutch moment. Stay alive! Stay alive! <laughs> Sorry, wow. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was in the days where you couldn't be max level unless you did the raid. So uh, mm -hmm. we had one guy that had to bail out because work called him back. So I actually whoa. Um, so I actually got the call to go into the Vault of Glass, and again, I had never done a raid in any video game before. Save your life! I'm getting out of here. Um, oh crap! Oh crap! So oh the, god! Yeah, the, the big no thing was saying. that. Uh, oh. You know, just to stay alive and learn the mechanics. <clears throat> so, learning the mechanics, I actually played very well all the way through the Templar. You know, the Gorgons, everything, because it was a uh, Vault of Glass days. And I was, <clears throat> I was probably a little bit too high on myself, like, Whoa. oh, you know. Oh, he told me he got run on top of me. Wait, watch this, watch this. And T-Bag. Do that stanky leg. All I did do that was stanky leg. In. And do that stanky <laughs> leg. That's funny. Mm. So, uh, you know, we got, but yeah, we got all the way to Atheon, and we were actually very, very happy, because it was the first time any of us well, were trying Vault of Glass, so we got to Atheon. We knew the fight, you know, our, our leader had sent out a whole bunch of YouTube videos and stuff for us to watch, and I was just kind of, it's funny how back then I was laughing at, wow, this guy's really into it, and now that's the same stuff I do, you know, on a daily basis. It's like, hey guys, we're going to raid tonight, here's a bunch of YouTube videos. Um... So we knew how to beat Atheon, and this this is literally just the most embarrassing moment here. I don't know how many times I went to the wrong planet. <laughs> I no lot it had to at least be six times. Worst time traveler ever. Not it, worst time travel. That, yeah, that was that was back when we thought it was Mars and Venus. But yeah, you're right. In reality, what is it? Past and future, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so I was I was literally like I was just, you know, taking my back to the future and just losing all that credit. Guys, we're in Mars. Okay. Uh Carl, you just opened Venus. Oops. All right, I'll get it better next time. All right, Carl, we're on Venus and you just opened Mars. Wipe again. We must have wiped around 6 or 7 times, man, and you know, they were it 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 doesn't sound that funny cuz everybody's done it. But the, the amount that the leader was getting so mad, um, but, the <laughs> fact, but the fact is that I outranked him from work, so he was, like, struggling to kick me out of the raid, just made it <laughs> so funny. Um, we finally ended up beating it, but, uh, yeah, man, that was probably my most embarrassing moment, not, figure, not being able to figure out freaking my left from my right to go to which planet and the only person who was actually there for that that can remember it is auto so <laughs> yeah that was that was bad that was very bad um what has been your absolute most favorite memory about this favorite memory about destiny <sighs> that's tough um but uh it's honestly i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of tweak the question a little bit like I, I don't really have a favorite specific memory but my favorite moments are just struggling through a mission a raid a trials card with you know all of you guys and then that moment of like pure and utter glee and satisfaction when you beat it you know it's just y you never think that and that and that's why I think that this game is you know as corny as it sounds so much more than a video game is that you know the amount of happiness you get from sitting there and 
you know, playing all Saturday with your friends and finally beating a new raid is just, you know, so much fun. Um, so definitely just all the times, you know, we've ever killed bosses, gone flawless, you know, stuff like that, just with a whole, a whole multitude of people. So I have to say that's, you know, best memories and moments and part of Destiny 1. And I'm really hoping to just continue that, you know, killing Gary in Destiny 2, so that's going to be a blast. Yeah, hashtag yay. Hashtag yay. <laughs> or what, did, what, did you say in, what did you say during that Crota 1, Matt? Alright. <laughs> Alright. Wait, what? Are you ready? Wh what? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, shoot your gallon horns. Yeah, Wait, was that a call out? <laughs> yeah, me. I think me and Craig high sided during that one. We were not happy with that. Oh, I got hard light. <laughs> oh, hard light. What's up? All right, Carl. Well, um, dude, thanks for coming on with us. And um, absolutely, the first of many. And uh, Hope we look so. forward to many um, gameplays in the future. So, um, at the end of our show, we always like to ask our guests to sing our theme song with us. So we're gonna attempt that um, over this mic lab. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, you ready? Mad and Colton do a night fall. Two, one. Wait. Mad and Colton. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> this always happens. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> okay. All right. Three, two, one. Mad, Mad and Colton. <laughs> yeah. Come on, dude. Hold it too long. It's yeah. just Matt and Colton do a night I'm waiting fall. for you. Okay. Three, two, one. Matt and Colton, Matt do, and Colton do a night fall. You're starting after me.